Well, pay attention at the pump. Gas prices could be on the rise. According to Gas Buddy, prices are up about one cent per gallon over last week. The Rockford area is seeing an average of two dollars and fifty six cents today. But fill up soon. The middle of the week could see a spike after an attack overseas knocked out five percent of the world's oil production. The U.S. military released images of that Saudi facility that was attacked. Officials say it is the biggest oil disruption in history. The White House is working to clarify President Trump's declaration that the U.S. is locked and loaded on whoever is responsible. NBC's Alice Barr reports tonight from Washington. An attack on the world's biggest oil production facility in Saudi Arabia is causing global tensions and oil prices to spike. Iranian-backed rebels in Yemen have claimed responsibility, but the U.S. believes Iran is directly to blame, though President Trump stopped short of an outright accusation today. Uh, certainly it would look the most like it was Iran. We're having some very strong studies done, but it's certainly looking that way. President Trump met with his national security team this morning after saying over the weekend that the U.S. was locked and loaded to respond, but waiting to confer with Saudi Arabia. Iran is denying it's behind the attack that cut Saudi Arabia's oil exports in half. Those exports, more than 5% of the world's oil supply. This is a big deal because this will be the biggest oil disruption in history. What this will do is push gasoline prices higher, at least in the short term. Some analysts anticipate gas at the pumps could rise 25 cents a gallon in the coming weeks. President Trump says he'll release oil reserves if needed to keep the supply flowing at home. The bigger question, how the president will respond to the attack. The White House insisting he isn't warmongering. No, I don't want war with anybody, but we're prepared more than anybody. But critics concerned about what locked and loaded means. This is once again uh, a little bit of a Rambo attitude that is very risky. Fears that long simmering tensions could boil over into direct conflict. Alice Barr, NBC News, Washington. And Iran is now saying there will be no meeting between President Trump and the Iranian president at the U.N. General Assembly next week.